Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, we're gonna show you guys planting uh, a stick, a tree, um, that will feed your family, in some reports, up to 50 years. And we're, what we're talking about is we have two big apple trees um, that we're gonna show you guys planting today. Um, then we'll go check on the chickens also if we get time. We're starting to run out a little bit of a daylight here. Get start quick in Oklahoma when it gets past seven, and this is a late vlog we're filming. Um, we just now got time to get here and plant these trees. But I picked up two of them uh, from a local nursery. Um, we like to support the local uh, companies when we can. And uh, I have not had luck. Hey, Gabby. Hey, Gabby. I have not had luck. Gabby, quit, 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 quit. As soon as I start talking, she'll get in my face. Go, Gabby. I have not had luck with apple trees in the past. This is probably my fifth apple tree. And I'm telling you, out here on my place, it's all about location, 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 huh, Hopi? Um, the, the, the several places I've already planted them, um, it gets way, way too much water um, when it rains, heavy rain. So this right here, area that we picked today, um, does not hold water at all. So I think it's gonna be a good, good spot to put some apple trees. And we have a good peach tree and we have a plum tree that got two plums on it um, so we're trying to get our orchard up sl slowly but surely um, like I said this is probably the, the sixth uh, tr uh, apple tree we planted and we got one that's still alive it's way over there um, but it's a little wet over there too so we'll get to it like I said this will feed, this will this will produce hundreds and hundreds of pounds of uh, of uh, fruit over his lifetimes probably thousands of pounds of fruit over their lifetime we've got two of them so hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe what should they do smash that like button and and turn that notification bell. That's right. And turn that notification bell on. And, so we'll show what. And subscribe. And subscribe. So all right. Hope you guys like today's vlog. We're gonna plant some apple trees, <sighs> so we can start growing some more food for our family, huh, guys? Yeah. All right. So let's get busy. Can I... It looks like Pac-Man. It does. Yeah. Grab your hands and push that over. No? Okay, yeah, that's it. Throw, throw it in one pile. Use your hands up. Good job. Get that big grass piece out. That's a good 
Yeah. We're going to put a little bit of potting mix in here, give it a nice loose bottom so the roots can uh, get hold. And I actually got some fruit, all purpose uh, fruit tree uh, fertilizer stuff, food. We'll put a little bit of that in there too. This says actually use like three cups of this stuff. But on some sort of drip line. So we're just going to put a, probably about a cup and a half down there below. Let me get my party so. Good job, Adley. Inside there, like that. Hmm? So put that inside there. Just this little stuff. Want to wash your hands? That's how that um that water over there. Yeah. This out for me. Huh? Just put this out. Was this trouble? No, we might need that other bag. Wanna go grab that other bag? Yeah. What's that go for? Yeah. Heavy. 
Did you do it by yourself? I uh, hold it in a hand. I'm going to put this underneath the faucet up there. Can you hear that cat? Yeah. So I got these posts set north and south. That's what direction our winds are blowing out 90% of the time. It's either coming out south or north and pretty dang hard. Um, so I got tied up pretty good. I got good loops on there where they got uh, room to grow. But I try not to give it any, any leeway because the high winds we got here will just knock it right over. Um, but I think that's going to work pretty dang good. Uh, so we got one planted uh, starting to turn dark on us. I need to get the chickens put up and I get one side of theirs fixed over there. Um, so we're just going to plant this one apple tree today and then I'll do the other one. Uh, in a, uh, I'll do the other one tomorrow. Probably won't film it. Um, but yeah, this uh, from some reports uh, from what I read, these apple trees can live 80 or 50 to 80 to even 100 years old. They said they usually stop producing 50 years old. That's a long time. Her grandkids could be getting apples off this tree. That's how crazy that is. So let's go check out the chickens, get them up, and uh, get that one, one or two sides secure. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. You want to get them chickens in there and we'll close that door? Grab, them, grab these chickens right here. I'll put them in there. Thank you. She is getting a couple of them. You can grab those, throw them in there. Okay. Don't chase them because they can make a 50 that chance. They're right. Okay, you guys, can, uh, I don't know if I told you shit yet or not, but we did not lose another chicken after that one. So me and Hallie got here just in time. Right after the storm, uh, got their bedding down, got them nice and warm, got them uh, heated back up, got them dried, and they've all survived uh, throughout the night and the day. So that's a good thing for us. So right now, I got some old felt paper. Uh, it's called felt paper. I used to work at a paper mill for like seven years, my guy the Marine Corps, and uh, they used to throw this stuff away, and it's good for a lot of things. Um, but I'm going to... Put it up along the side right here to keep from that wind, uh, wind and rain to blow in from this side. Better situation for them all around. Very thankful we only lost one. All right, upgraded the feeder. <laughs> Went ahead and spent the money, upgraded it. Got another water or two for that side. So I'm just gonna zip tie this up. And that's gonna be good enough. Probably, I'm glad I got this laying around still. This right here would have made all the difference in the world yesterday. And I'm not, I don't have to do all the way around it. Like I don't have to, I just need this spot right here, the majority of it, like three quarters of it right here where that water and rain can't get in there. And they'll have a dry spot to stay. I haven't looked at the forecast uh, since yesterday. It looked like we might get some rain next week, but we'll be good for a few days.
This definitely don't look the prettiest, but it's gonna save them chickens a lot of trouble and it's gonna save me some trouble too. I actually used to have this up on my rabbits. I found the front of my rabbit hutch, my old rabbit hutch. That was where I got a hole in it. Might go ahead and just put one more right in here. And the cool thing about this too, I can just lift it up if I think it's going to be too hot that day, and I can just lower it back down. Should have done that from the beginning. How does it stay up? I got the zip ties. Oh. So come look at our clubhouse? Yeah. Oh, you want to go show them the camera? Yeah. They've been building a clubhouse. Whoa. We just started today though. You just started it? Yeah. This is our warning stick. Well, I gotta use that trailer tomorrow. You do? Yes. You really? Is that your door? I got some That's hinges for your door. Sis. Yeah, it actually is. I got hinges in there. Can you help us? I don't know how to do it. No, I gotta finish this uh, chicken, chicken uh, okay. tractor. Okay. Well, this is our decoration. Good job, Hope. Warning stick. Is it just lightning? Okay, definitely not the prettiest, but it's going to be effective. And also, I put that over, uh, my barrels over to keep it down and to keep the weeds from going right there. So that's, that's good. So let's take a look at it inside. Yeah, no doubt if I would have had this up yesterday, um, they would not, that would not have happened. You can see. They're going to stay nice and dry now. You still drinking? You still drinking? Okay, as you see, it's getting dark on me. Another late vlog. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, so we took care of the chickens. You guys seen the pig. He's doing good. I don't know if I actually talked about it down there, but the little pig's doing good. doing a lot better than he was. Um, they're going crazy in there. <laughs> um, but I think the meat chickens are doing great. I let them out to free range a little bit today. Only a few of them ventured out. They're still um, a little small. They can actually jump through one of the bigger holes in there. So I keep an eye on them. Um, so, so far, so good. Just lost the one. They're all nice and dry. Doing great. 
and uh, that was misfortunate and I should have done that from the very beginning. But it's one of them things. All right, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like Hope and Hallie said earlier, if you liked this video, smash that like button and click the notification bell like Hallie always says. We, we greatly appreciate each and every one of you all that will take the time to, uh, your day to watch our videos. Um, you know these videos take time and uh, energy, you might say, to make and edit and post. And I know a lot of you guys uh, appreciate them um, very much and we appreciate you guys. So that's all I got for you today. We love you guys. Have a safe uh, weekend. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.